Hello friends, welcome to new 7 KC tools training. This is Narinda Sharma and in this module I am going to discuss about process decision program chart. In my previous module I have discussed about prioritization matrices. Now in this tutorial I will discuss what is a process decision program chart. How does it contribute to quality improvement? And uh, how do we design the process decision program chart? Now, PDPC designed to achieve a particular objective, anticipating challenges while executing a process, plan the expected developments, forecasting serious consequences when nothing go according to plan, identifies possible countermeasures for unwanted consequence. So here you see this is process decision program chart. By this way we have different levels. At level 1 the objective we want to achieve in this box. At level 2 the options available to achieve that objectives at level 2. At level 3, what if something doesn't go according to plan? At level 4, what are the possible countermeasures to check unwanted consequences? And at level 5, select the best possible countermeasures. Okay, let us take a working problem and it is planning for a successful conference. So at level 1, write the objective, plan a successful conference. At level 2, what are the options available to make a plan for successful conference? This, these are registration, presentation and facilities. And at level 3, what if the unwanted consequences are here? Suppose speakers get late, audio visuals fails and the presentation goes too long. At level 4, the possible countermeasures to check these, uh, to check the unwanted consequences that may happen at level 3. So if speakers get late, we have a substitute. If audio visuals fails, then either we have a backup or we can use AV person, audio visual person. And uh, if the presentation goes too long, we can use timekeeper to count the time for the presentation. Now, to select the countermeasures, OK for if you select a countermeasure, then write OK, O, o for OK, have a substitute OK. For a, if the audio visual fails, then have a backup. But using AV person or audio user person, this countermeasure is not suitable. So discard this and using a timekeeper is a good option or good countermeasures. So, OK, select this. This way we can make a PDPC for a successful conference or planning of a successful conference. Now, how does it help to quality improvement? PDPC can be used for new process development that is a that has a great risk of failure. It provides the opportunity to learn and think what could fail the process. So many things we can learn while designing a PDPC. How to take countermeasures? We can learn here how to take the countermeasures when something goes wrong. It 
can effectively minimize the uncertainty, increases the creativity in the team members, allows the optimum utilization of resources. Hope you have now clear about process decision program chart. In my next tutorial, I will discuss about activity network diagram. Please drop your feedback in comment box and subscribe Shake Hand With Life YouTube channel. You may visit to my website shakehandwithlife.in. You may call or WhatsApp at this number to join WhatsApp group. You can send your feedback at shakehandwithlife at gmail.com. Thanks for having stay with me. Have a nice day.